Science Lab, and today I'm I'm reading my letter to President Trump. Dear President Trump, I wrote this letter to you today because it's World Orphans Day. As goodwill ambassador of World Orphans Day, I stand before you to ask you to do a simple thing. Please stop reading this letter for one minute to think about how hard it is to live without a parent for a child. Now let me introduce myself. My name is Subono Isaac Berry. I just turned five years old. City College of New York, Dr. Lisa Quaco gave me the title of the Einstein of Air Time in 2015. I also received recognition in 2016 from President Obama for being able to solve PhD level math and physics and chemistry problems. Recently, I received recognition from Oxford University Vice Chancellor Dr. Richardson. Many leaders around the world send me letters and gifts to celebrate my fifth birthday. But most importantly, I'm the ambassador of World Orphans Day. When work offered me to become the uh, ambassador of World Open Day, my response was simple. They should offer this position to Dr. Mama Had Luna or Sir Fazel Hassan Ad or Professor Marty Hassan. However, my father advised me to accept the offer. After I conclude that this recognition which I <coughs> receive on behalf of all orchids a profound recognition that to peace is the answer. Words generate more orchids than anything else. And education is the path to stopping war. My mission is to plant a dream in every children, especially orphans, that they too be and become the next Newton or Einstein. Most orphans are living in Syria today and Mr. President, they need your help. I want to do this letter at a time when millions of children are growing up without the love and care of a family. I have learned about orphans and their suffering from the Grammy social business model. A book written by my father, which stated that orphans are isolated, starved, and died. When my mom feeds me every day by holding me on her lap, I feel bad for Alexander, who just lost her mother in Bangladesh. When I saw math, chemistry, and physics problems for my dad, I felt bad for a cow table at Ramage, who just lost their father in New York. I know there are millions of children whose lives are even very worse than Afsada, Echo, Teva, and Ramins because they don't even have a single parent. So Mr. President Trump, I'm reading this letter to you. Who have had everything fated and walk out of fate in the future of mankind. I refuse to accept the view that mankind is so selfish that we don't care about children of other people. I still believe that we can create hopes for the homeless, love for the orphans, and give education to those who need it the most. This faith gives me, give me courage to 
haste the answer and he of the future. It will give our tired feet new strength as we continue our forward stride toward a city of hope where all orphans can we to become the next stars and new to the older Einstein. Mr. Frost and Trump won't generate more orphans than any other act of cruelty known. And I am very thank you, you are thankful of your force to stop, stop the war in places like Syria, where more children and more children become orphans every day. Thank, thank you, Mr. President.